How are you guys? Welcome back to Wargaming China. And you know what this channel is about. I'm a wargamer and I platform my understandings of China's war of resistance against Japanese aggression in China from 1931 to 45. And you know, I platform my knowledge of the history or my understanding of the history and try to explain it to you using my war games. Um, so today, when we look at the table, we're again looking at the Say Detachment advancing on Teng Xian. And um, the last time we saw the 22nd Army Group was the first line of defense. And this is um, the Japanese took. Uh, I can't remember, a, a week to break that line of defense. And um, then they went to second line of defense, which was uh, Sun Zhens, who is the commander of the um, of the hundred of the twenty second army group, but he's also commander of the hundred and twenty fourth division. And the hundred and twenty fourth division is the Chinese formation holding the second line. Now, when we look at Sun Zhen, up until. Um, his, as a warlord general, his war, he, he has learned a lot about war since he started facing the Japanese at Yang Quan. Um, and he's learned that, it, you know, in his first line of defense, even though he can um, dig in and have an abundance of ammunition and supplies, he couldn't, still couldn't hold the Japanese side detachments with its overwhelming possession of artillery. So, um... For this battle, it seems San Zhan took a few of the old tricks from his warlord from the interclique fighting, before he, from his fighting days before he faced the Japanese. Because for this advance, Sun Zhen's 124th Division will not face the Japanese directly. It will not um, be exposing itself to Japanese artillery while it sits in defended positions. This time its defensive positions will be in the forests and the hilltops and the rocky hilltops that make up much of the terrain about around Tangxian. And as um, as the Japanese advance, as I said, it's actually advance towards Tangxian, Tangxian they will uh, it will take them 10 days to clear the 124th out of their way and commence the actual attack on the wall town now um for this attack the say detachment stays the same two infantry regiments plus about 100 guns and artillery and a machine gun, an independent machine gun battalion um, maintains, maintains its push basically up the track and although we can, we've seen that um, in the last game the um, Chinese suicide tactics were very successful against the Japanese armor it was still not enough to hold the line um, so today, the Chinese will be endeavouring to um, keep out of sight of the Japanese until it is time to strike, and the Chinese will have use of some minefields. Um, the battle itself, the advance itself, took ten days, and it's it's not much of a distance. You know, it's about hmm, it's between fifteen and twenty kilometres. But um, as I said, the terrain. Um, rocky hills covered in woods and um, this uh, you know with with the odd bit of farming in between the terrain's very rocky so there's not many crops there was also no opportunity to dig trenches here or only tank trench ditches because of um, because of how rocky the ground is now as we can see we go back to the, the uh, Chinese defending from the rear slopes 
So thus, uh, I'm visible to Japanese observation. Now, what factors can we perceive that may have helped the, the 124th Division slow down the Japanese for 10 days to take, you know, to make sure the Japanese took 10 days to grind their way through their positions before they could then begin the assault on the town. Well, I'm going to tell you now that some historians say, some sources already say by this date, and the date we're talking about is between the uh, between the third and the and um, the third and eleven, so it's a week. Sorry, a week they held here. Um, so, what helped them during that week? Well, during that week, the RCAA, uh, Republic of China Air Force, is on the resurgence. Now, as this battle progresses. The um, pilots of the RO of the ROCN will be um, become be becoming more proficient. I mean, obviously not just Chinese pilots; some of them are Soviet volunteers, but they will be they will be f making their presence felt on this battlefield, and especially as the uh, attack the battle reaches crescendo at, in Ten County, in around Ten County. The, uh, the presence of the Chinese Air Force will be felt even more. So in this game we're going to have some air support from an I-15. And um, we won't have any, we won't have any um, Japanese air support on the table. Um, I'm going to play this game as... Um, I don't know, maybe I'll give it 10 turns. So as I said, there are some historians that said by this time the um, the SAF or deta detachment had already um, split itself into two and was already advancing on Taijua. However, um, if we look at the railway track and the terrain, I think most of the accounts would that say it happened after this, but before the assault on the city, on the town itself, are probably correct. Um, so as you can see, I've got some new trees. I got them from Timu. Oh, I shouldn't have been using palm trees in the, light, in the games for this, but uh, it's all I had. And you know, if you know me, I'm, I'm always looking for the cheaper stuff. So I've got these trees off Timu, and I think I paid 40 Australian dollars for them with postage. And I was pretty happy with that. They're nice enough trees, if not a bit gaudy, garish the colours. But I might do something with that. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Um, so as I said, uh, Sun Jane is going to try to hold this round using a few of his old, oldest, older tactics. Um, he won't be facing the Japanese directly. He'll be blessed with some Chinese air support, and we'll see if we can stop the, the Japanese uh, getting off table within ten turns. All right, that's all for now. Remember to subscribe and hit like. Cheers.